This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi everyone, the excitement is building here in the studio. We are in the championship game of the 2017 fall series of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. We're so happy you can join us and we're happy that you played along with us all season. We have eight kids here, students who have bright futures. They have um, been blessed with uh, God-given bright minds and um, we're so glad that they've joined us and, and they're really good kids too. So um, this is going to be a great show. We have Versailles taking on Finley High School and we're going to introduce you to our players right now. Joining us from Finley High School we have Kayla Keckler, Brian Yo, Craig Corbin, and Marshall Bott. And Finley is coached by David Barkey. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Versailles High School. Joining us is Sam Stockler, Andy Heckman, Tessa Tayo, and Sam Eiding. And Versailles is coached by Margie Treon. Welcome back to all of you. All right, this game is played a little bit differently. If you remember, we have 20 questions in each segment, and then we'll take a break, okay? And they're all worth 10 points apiece. They are all up for grabs. It's a lot of pressure here, but try to have fun and relax, okay? We want to make sure that you have your buzzers ready. Speak as loudly as possible and make your answers as complete as possible. All right, here we go. Question number one in our championship game. What is a group of porcupines called? For sales. A pickle. A pickle is incorrect. Finley, you want to try? Yes. A herd. A herd is also incorrect. A prickle is the word we're looking for. All right, question two. Ralph and Piggy are characters in which novel? Lord yes. of the Flies. Lord of the Flies is correct. Who wrote the novel Moby Dick? Finley. Sherman. Sherman is incorrect for sales. You want to try it? Time is up. The answer is Herman Melville. Okay, number four. How was the Colossus of Rhodes destroyed? Yes, that would be Versailles. An earthquake. An earthquake is correct. Question number five. Leukemia sufferers have too many of what kind of cells? Yes, that would be Versailles. White blood cells. White blood cells is the answer. Number six. Which is the rarest blood type among humans? Yes, Finley. O negative. O negative is incorrect. Versailles, do you want to try? Yes. O positive? That is incorrect. The answer is AB negative. All right, number seven. Little Cuba is the nickname for what U.S. city? Yes, that would be Finley. Miami. Miami is the answer. Question eight. In which state are the Ozark Mountains? For sales. Missouri. Missouri is incorrect. Finley, you want to try? Yes. Arkansas. Arkansas is correct. Who was the father of biblical King Solomon? Yes, Finley. David. David is the answer. All right, ten. What are the three base units of measurement for the metric system? Finley. Uh, liters, grams, and meters. That is correct. All right, moving on to the next 10 questions in this first round. What actor was the voice of Darth Vader? Yes, Versailles. James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones is correct. All right. What is the only mythological animal mentioned in a Harry Potter book title? Yes, that would be Versailles. The Phoenix. Phoenix is correct. What NFL position players have uniform numbers 80 to 89? Yes, that would be Finley. Lineman. Lineman is incorrect. Versailles, you want to try? Yes. Defenseman? 
That is also incorrect. The answer is receivers. All right, number 14, name the famous princess who died in, yes, that would be Finley. Princess Diana. That is the answer. What disease contracted by an animal bite? Yes, Finley. Rabies. Rabies is correct. What S word describes Southerners who helped, yes, for sales? All right, time is up there. Finley, you want to try it? Can you complete the question? Sure will. What S word describes Southerners who helped institute reconstruction? Scallywags. Scallywags is the answer. All right, question 17. Who is the author of The Hobbit? And yes, that would be Versailles. J.R.R. Tolkien. You are correct. All right, question 18. What was the name of Jesus' mother? Yes, that would be Finley. Mary. Mary is correct. Two questions remaining in our first round. Name the Jewish festival that begins with a Seder. Finley. Hanukkah. That's incorrect. For sales? Passover. That is the answer. All right, final question in this first round. Who wrote Great Expectations? Yes, Finley. Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens is the answer. All right, good job. We've come to the end of our first round. Here is our score. Finley, you have 100 points for sales with 60. We'll be back with round two of our championship right after this. This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi everyone, the excitement is building here in the studio. We are in the championship game of the 2017 Fall Series of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. We're so happy you can join us and we're happy that you played along with us all season. We have eight kids here, students, who have bright futures. They have um, been blessed with uh, God-given bright minds and um, we're so glad that they've joined us and, and they're really good kids too. So um, this is going to be a great show. We have Versailles taking on Finley High School and we're gonna introduce you to our players right now. Joining us from Finley High School, we have Kayla Keckler, Brian Yo, Craig Corbin, and Marshall Bott. And Finley is coached by David Barkey. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Versailles High School. Joining us is Sam Stockler, Andy Heckman, Tessa Tayo, and Sam Eiding. And Versailles is coached by Margie Trion. Welcome back to all of you. All right, this game is played a little bit differently. If you remember, we have 20 questions in each segment, and then we'll take a break, okay? And they're all worth 10 points apiece. They are all up for grabs. It's a lot of pressure here, but try to have fun and relax, okay? We want to make sure that you have your buzzers ready. Speak as loudly as possible, and make your answers as complete as possible. All right. Here we go, question number one in our championship game. What is a group of porcupines called? For sales. A pickle. A pickle is incorrect. Finley, you want to try? Yes. A herd. A herd is also incorrect. A prickle is the word we're looking for. All right, question two. Ralph and Piggy are characters in which novel? Lord yes. of the Flies. Lord of the Flies is correct. Who wrote the novel, Moby Dick? Finley. Sherman. Sherman is incorrect for sales. You want to try it? Time is up. The answer is Herman Melville. Okay, number four. How was the Colossus of Rhodes destroyed? Yes, that would be Versailles. An earthquake. An earthquake is correct. Question number five. Leukemia sufferers have too many of what kind of cells? Yes, that would be Versailles. White blood cells. 
white blood cells is the answer. Number six, which is the rarest blood type among humans? Yes, Finley. O negative. O negative is incorrect. Versailles, do you want to try? Yes. O positive? That is incorrect. The answer is AB negative. All right, number seven. Little Cuba is the nickname for what U.S. city? Yes, that would be Finley. Miami? Miami is the answer. Question eight. In which state are the Ozark Mountains? For sales. Missouri. Missouri is incorrect. Finley, you want to try? Yes. Arkansas. Arkansas is correct. Who was the father of biblical King Solomon? Yes, Finley. David. David is the answer. All right, 10. What are the three base units of measurement for the metric system? Finley. Uh, liters, grams, and meters. That is correct. All right, moving on to the next 10 questions in this first round. What actor was the voice of Darth Vader? Yes, Versailles. James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones is correct. All right, what is the only mythological animal mentioned in a Harry Potter book title? Yes, that would be Versailles. The Phoenix. Phoenix is correct. What NFL position players have uniform numbers 80 to 89? Yes, that would be Finley. Lineman. Lineman is incorrect. For sales, you want to try? Yes. Defenseman. That is also incorrect. The answer is receivers. All right, number 14. Name the famous princess who died in, yes, that would be Finley. Princess Diana. That is the answer. What disease contracted by an animal bite? Yes, Finley. Rabies. Rabies is correct. What S word describes Southerners who helped, yes, for sales? All right, time is up there. Finley, you want to try it? Can you complete the question? Sure will. What S word describes Southerners who helped institute reconstruction? Scallywags. Scallywags is the answer. All right, question 17. Who is the author of The Hobbit? And yes, that would be Versailles. J.R.R. Tolkien. You are correct. All right, question 18. What was the name of Jesus' mother? Yes, that would be Finley. Mary. Mary is correct. Two questions remaining in our first round. Name the Jewish festival that begins with a Seder. Finley. Hanukkah. That's incorrect. For sales? Passover. That is the answer. All right, final question in this first round. Who wrote Great Expectations? Yes, Finley. Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens is the answer. All right, good job. We've come to the end of our first round. Here is our score. Finley, you have 100 points for sales with 60. We'll be back with round two of our championship right after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you, and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. Well, the good thing is there's still laughter on this set, so that is, that is a good thing right now because this is a big game. This is a championship of the 2017 Fall Series of Wiz Quiz. We have Versailles High School and Finley High School represented, and we are down to our final 20 questions. Are you teams ready? Okay, let's do this. Question one. Give the G word for a group of species with common, yes, that would be Versailles. Genome. Genome is incorrect. Finley, you want to try? Yes. 
Genus. Genus is what we're looking for. Question two. How many feet wide is the NBA free throw lane? Yes, for sales. Ten. Ten is incorrect. Finley, you want to try it? Yes. Thirty feet. That is also incorrect. Sixteen is the answer. All right, question three. What French woman was burned at the stake? Finley. Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc is the answer. What ingredient in bread causes it to rise? Yes, Versailles. Yeast. Yeast is correct. Question five. What pro league has teams named Wings, Fire, and Storm? Finley. Hockey. Hockey is incorrect, so we can turn it now to Versailles. Yes. The NHL. NHL also incorrect. The WNBA is what we're looking for. All right, question six. Who gave Jesus gifts when he was born? Yes, for sales. The three kings of the Orient. I'm sorry, what did you say again? The three kings of the Orient. We will accept that. Very good. All right, moving on to question number seven. Name the Catholic humanitarian who worked in Calcutta. Versailles. Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa is correct. What treaty returned Alsace and Lorraine to France? Yes, Finley. Treaty of Versailles. Treaty of Versailles is correct. Question number nine. Who directed the 1977 movie Star Wars? Yes, Finley. George Lucas. George Lucas is the answer. And question 10. The first man-made item to land on the moon was launched Versailles. Uh, Versailles. Versailles? Apollo 6. Apollo 6 is incorrect. Finley, you want to try? Can I complete the question? I sure will. The first man-made item to land on the moon was launched by what country? Yes. United States of America. That is incorrect. It's the USSR. All right, moving on now, our final 10 questions. I'm going to update the score now. Finley, you have 240 points. Versailles, 170. Our last 10 questions were 10 points apiece for the championship. What tomb has been guarded nonstop? Yes, Finley. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is the answer. In music, the space between one musical pitch and another with double its frequency is called what? Finley. A step. That is incorrect. Versailles. Harmonic. That is also incorrect. The answer is an octave. All right, number 13. What is a baker's dozen? Finley. 13. 13 is correct. What does the Statue of Liberty hold in her right hand? Yes, that would be Versailles. A book. A book is incorrect. Finley? A torch. A torch is the answer. Question 15. By area, what is the smallest ocean in the world? Yes, Finley. The Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean is the answer. All right, we have five questions remaining in our championship game. What is acrophobia a fear of? Yes, Finley. A fear of spiders. That is incorrect. Versailles. A fear of heights. A fear of heights is correct. Name one of the four U.S. states that are commonwealths. Versailles. Kentucky. That is correct. What is a baby chimpanzee called? Finley. A chimp. A chimp is the answer. All right, we're down to our final two questions. Here's the score. Finley, you have 290 points. Versailles, 190. Identify what ceremony is. Yes. Type of angel? That is incorrect. Versailles? A chemical. A chemical is also incorrect. It might also be pronounced cerumen. It is earwax. All right, our final question. Name the first electrically lighted city or town and the state, yes, Versailles? 
Paris, New Mexico. That is incorrect. Finley, you want to try it? Yes. New York City, New York. That is also incorrect. The answer is Wabash, Indiana. All right, we have come to the end of our championship game here on TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. We do have a champion. For sales, you put up a good fight. You really did. You scored 190 points. The winner is Finley High School, and you had 290 points. Congratulations. We'll be back to talk with the teams and their coaches right after this. I'll tell you what, the tension has eased in the studio. We're having a lot of fun celebrating the success of these two teams. We just wrapped up our championship game between Versailles and Finley High Schools. Finley, the champions, but I'll tell you what, Versailles, you put up a great fight, coached by Margie Treon. And Margie, you have a great team, a lot of great kids here. Oh, I totally agree. Yes. And you know, you have three seniors. I hate to say we're not going to see you next year, but I hope you'll be back. I know that, um, you know, these kids are, are really um, challenged when it comes to their time now because there's so much that they are doing. This is not the only extracurricular they're involved in. No, all these kids, or the majority of them, are in drama club, and they're also in band, and between, and academic team, which we're in. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so just getting them to be able to practice or getting them to their other practices can be quite challenging. Yes. Well, they did an excellent job. You should all be very proud. And good luck to you in your future. God's blessings. You have bright minds, and I know that you really are our future. So we wish you the very best. All right. David Barkey, congratulations, Finley High School. Yes, you have a big team here. I know that um, sometimes you would bring in new players. At different bring in new players, and I think we have most of our players here tonight. Okay, yep. very good. And you have one senior, Kayla. You will be leaving us, and um, what are your plans for next year? Um, I'm planning on majoring in biomedical science with a minor in Spanish. I'm not sure which university as of yet. I got accepted into Capital yesterday, Hiram a week ago, but I'm thinking about going to OSU, should everything work out. Go Bucks! we like that too. All right. Well, I know that um, you have your little guy with you here. This is uh, Richard Nixon. Mm -hmm. He's not a crook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said it. I did not. All right. Not the crook. <laughs> That's right. But David, congratulations. You always come with a great um, group of students, and, and congratulations. Thank you. It's the students who do it. They do all the work. I just come along for the ride. All right. <laughs> well, thank you all for joining us, and thanks for being great sports. You represent your schools very well. Thanks for joining us at home. We'll see you back here next season. Bye-bye.